an alien. Do, 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 do. When I was searching for a router, I've heard about Ubiquiti. I enjoy it so much that when I was searching for Wi-Fi, I was looking for the same company, UAP ACM from Ubiquiti Outdoor and Indoor. I wanted this one to extend my uh, Wi-Fi network in the backyard. You do not have to put it inside anything. It's, it's working outside just as is. Dual band, 5 GHz, 2.4 GHz, of course. The only way to power this is via Ethernet cable. I will show you. Let's open it up. So this one doesn't have web interface. It needs an application like Unify controller. Another thing which is very nice is you can manage it via application on your phone. This is the device. This is the place where you plug in the Ethernet. As you can see, you do not have any power connector. The only power connector is your Ethernet connector and the reset button. Very nice logo. What else we have? Small labeling. So if you are playing with this one, you have to be careful because if you put it inside, you will have trouble remove it. There are these things here. I don't know if you can see them. You'll have to use some tool. This is mount for pole. It has different uh, way of keeping it there. So you attach this to the pole and then you put this on here. If you want to remove it, you have to press here. We have also the antennas. Same color as the product. Very nice Ubiquiti logo here. You remove these caps and just If you do not have a switch which support power over Ethernet, you can use the one that comes with 24 volts. From switch here and then from here to the device, this way it will be powered. So it's either this one or your power over Ethernet cable with switch. We have also two screws and thingies for the wall and there is this rubber which you put it around the cable to prevent the water from coming inside. They've added an extra one in case you are wrecking this one. This one also you can uh, attach it to the, um, to the wall or pole. Before showing you how you can manage it, let me give you a quick demonstration. So this black cable comes from my switch, which is not uh, power over Ethernet capable. If I attach it here, nothing happens. This one is already plugged. This cable, put it on LAN. You use another cable. And now you see the light is on. Very nice, you cannot even notice that the light is here. Let me stop it. You see if I stop it, it's nothing here. It's just a normal plastic. And if I attach it, this part here, you see. There is light inside. So you need an application called Unify Network. If you see it blinking, it means you have to adopt it. You just found mine. You see it's written adoption required. It connected. You can set up a name. Okay, next. Wi-Fi. Finish. Okay, now it's configuring the access point. And now it's asking me to join the Wi-Fi yard. If you have some other Wi-Fi and you are connected to the same network, you don't really have to be connected on this device, you know. Let me show you how you are locating it. You go to configure here. If you press locate device, you will wait and it will flash. If you have many, they all look the same. You do not know exactly which one is which. So this way you will see that is the correct one. If you go to configure device credential, you will see the username, admin and password. Password is uh, self-generated. So if you want to use a different password, you just edit it from here and that's it. What else? You can change channel mode, bandwidth and transmit power. 
and if there is a firmware update you will get it here here is written now the firmware is up to date so there is no need to do anything i reset the device you see now it's flashing white which means it's uh, initializing now if it's steady white this means it's factory default i already have my unify controller here so as you can see because this is the status um, waiting to be adopted I am seeing it on the application. If it's already adopted to another application, you won't be able to see it. So now I press adopt. It's adopted. So you have much more information, more settings here. Mac authorization, Mac address filters, very nice. It's clearly you have much more settings via Unify Controller application. Copy configuration to another device. Static IP. I'm not sure you have this on the phone up version. So you do not have, again, I will, I'm sorry for repeating, you do not have any web interface of it. It's accessible and configurable only via application. You know, just because you have to adopt it, you will not be able to use it with different applications. For example, if you adopt it, to a Unify controller, you will have to connect to Unify controller and from there you can access it and manage it. So this is it. It's a very nice device. I will have to test it further. I will come back with another video. So um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next one. Bye.